Hello everybody. I'm going to be showing you how to weave on your homemade cardboard loom. If you came uh, to this video from my website, uh, the artdescience.net blog, you will likely have made something similar to this cardboard loom. Today I am working on a bracelet that's strung on my um, homemade wooden loom here, but uh, they work exactly the same. You're going to need um, a needle and you're going to need some yarn. In this case, I'm using a needle that I whittled out of a section of a paint stirrer, a little wooden paint stirrer. So I whittled it, I sanded it, and I drilled a hole in it and it works really well for me. The first one that I made was from a piece of um, balsa wood and it worked but it's really light and it feels a little flimsy and so I wanted something a little more sturdy. Uh, another option could be some cruel embroidery needles. These guys have um, a somewhat larger eye that you can fit embroidery floss into or maybe some thinner yarns. You can also use the little plastic needles that you can find in the, um, uh, what is it, the canvas stitching, the plastic canvas stitching section of the craft store. Um, that would work. And then when I was sitting here thinking about it, another thing that might work would be a, a pipe cleaner bent in half, leaving an eye at one end and then twisting the rest of the pipe cleaner very tightly. Um, and that could uh, fit almost any thickness of yarn that you might want to use. So that would work too. All right, so I have my needle. I have my yarn that I'm going to be weaving with. I've got my loom. It's all set up with the warp threads. I have already started it with my yarn and I left a nice tail hanging off the end here when I first started weaving because um, I'm going to be using that to finish off this end when I remove it from the loom so that it doesn't come unraveled. And then here I've just slid in a little snippet of um, index card. I just cut a little strip of index card and kind of wove it in there to give me some space to work with when I do get finished with uh, weaving this bracelet. Okay, so we can see that over here on this end, I've come out underneath this last uh, warp thread, and now I wanna go back in the other direction. So I'm going to go over that same warp thread and under the second one, over the third one, under the fourth one, and so on, alternating over and under all the way to the right hand side and now you can see those uh, warp threads over and under just like that and I'm going to pull and pull my yarn through and I don't want to pull it tightly too tightly against this outside uh, warp thread because it's going to squeeze it in in the middle and um, I want to keep it pretty much a nice even width all the way down the bracelet. So I'm not going to pull very hard. I don't want it to be pulled so that it smushes it in. I'm just going to pull gently. Okay. And now it's resting up against there. And now I'm going to use a comb to push that thread up against those that I've already woven in. See how that works? You can use a even tooth comb, you could use a hair pick, you could use a dinner fork or a piece of plastic wear. All of that works just fine. All it needs to do is to be able to get in between uh, your warp threads to push that up against there nice and tight. Now you can see that made a little loop there and I kind of want to have it a little bit tighter than that so I'm going to gently pull just like that okay and then finish by pushing it back again let's do it one more time you can see I came out underneath this outer warp thread 
And so, heading back the other direction, I'm going to go over. And I'm sorry, can you hear my just very sad puppy dog outside? He wanted out, and now he wants back in. You have to wait just a minute. So, once again, we're going over the outer and under the second one, over the third, under the fourth, and so on as we move to the left. Okay. Now, if you find that you are kind of pulling it a little too tight at the edges, then what you can do, since your loom is made out of cardboard, you can take a couple of straight pins, similar to the one that we made that little um, yarn holder on the end with. You can take a couple of those straight pins and you can slide them just right in against the inner side of each outermost warp. You see that? And you can stick them right into the cardboard and they're going to prevent this um, outer warp thread from getting squished in. It'll just be a nice little guide for you and as you weave further along you can just scoot them along as you go. Alright, so I'm going to continue weaving back and forth with this particular shade of cotton yarn on my little loom here until I want to uh, change to a different color. And then we'll be back with that video.